G'day Dragons fans. You have had a double shot of Benny over the last couple of days. Are you getting excited? Are you starting to get fired up for the 2022 season? It's not too far away. We are just three weeks. Count them. One, two, three weeks from the start of the junior representative season and only six weeks away from the charity shield. The Dragons are coming. It's going to be a fantastic season, but for now, you've got to put up with this crazy bastard and his daily player previews today is day 15, and it is the big cheese, the leader of our pack. It's Blake Laurie. Now, there are two camps when it comes to Blocker. You're either a big fan of the way he goes about his footy, and he's one of your favourite players. Or you think he's fat, unfit, and nowhere near NRL standard. There doesn't seem to be a lot of middle ground. For the record, on the former. I love Blocker as a player. And the answer to why I love him, it doesn't lie in his stats. Although with 109 metres per game and 32 tackles per game, his stats aren't bad. But it's his aggression that I love. He charges up out of the line and puts a shot on. He finds the biggest, baddest player in the opposition and he targets him. He goes at him head on and he does not take a backward step. I love some of the personal battles he gets into. He runs hard. He tackles hard and he gives everything he's got to give for this club. He has red and white running through his veins. Now that doesn't mean he's perfect. His defensive efficiency is 92.1%, which isn't awful, but it's a bit below where you'd want it to be for an NRL prop. And I'll admit, He's a little bit one-dimensional. In a bygone era, he may have been in a national quality, but I'm not sure a straight up-and-down prop with limited footwork, almost no offloading ability and barely basic ball-playing talent can cut it long-term in today's NRL. Plus, you add in four penalties and 13 set restarts against him, along with a couple of errors... He puts us under pressure pretty much once every single game. I still have him as a starting front rower in 2022, but he will need to improve to keep that role. Now, I know there will be a lot of differing opinions amongst the Dragons faithful when it comes to Blake Laurie. Maybe you've got him in the starting lineup the same as I do. Maybe you've got him coming off the bench, or maybe you've got him left right out playing in reserve grade. You've heard what I've had to say. Now you've got to jump down in the comments, get involved. Let us know where you see Blake Laurie playing for the Dragons in 2022. Where's he going to be in round one? What numbers he going to line up in? Uh, that's it for today's episode. Make sure you like and subscribe across all our social media platforms. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're also on Facebook and YouTube. Get around the Mad Dragons vodcast. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with an episode on Zach Lomax. He's one of my favourites. I am really looking forward to that one. Uh, in the meantime, go the Dragons. Yeah.